where I teach in the law school. The summary dismissal of Professor Stephen Salina from a tenured position at the University of Illinois is the single most brazen attack on freedom of speech in American universities in my lifetime. It is unfortunately not the only such instance, but it demands all our attention because of the shocking and unapologetic contempt displayed by the University of Illinois for fundamental constitutional values. The First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution protects the freedom of speech, and that means in particular, as the courts have said again and again and again, it prohibits the government, including a state university, from punishing individuals for expressing their views on matters of public concern. Professor Salida has that right, as does every citizen of the United States. That First Amendment right does not come with a caveat to the effect that only civil or respectful expression is actually protected. The Supreme Court of the United States could not have been clearer on this point than in its famous 1971 case, Cohen v. California, holding unconstitutional the conviction of Mr. Cohen for wearing a jacket in a public courthouse emblazoned with the words, fuck the draft. <laughs> As Justice Harlan, a conservative member of the court from an earlier era who wrote the majority opinion, astutely observed in that case, and I want to quote what he had to say because it is quite apropos, much linguistic expression serves a dual communicative function. It conveys not only ideas capable of relatively precise, detached explication, but otherwise inexpressible emotions as well. In fact, words are often chosen as much for their emotive as their cognitive force. We cannot sanction the view that the Constitution, while solicitous of the cognitive content of individual speech, has little or no regard for that emotive function, which practically speaking may often be the more important element of the overall message sought to be communicated. That is Justice Harlan of the Supreme Court, 1971. This has been settled constitutional law since 1971, yet the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the University of Illinois have acted as though they have a right to punish speakers who say, fuck the draft, or fuck America, or fuck Israel. But they have no such right. And we must now count on the courts to rectify this injustice. The University of Illinois will try to argue, as we've already seen, that the expression of moral outrage on Twitter at the carnage in Gaza this summer, and at those who would rationalize it, somehow raises questions about Professor Salaita's fitness to perform his duties in the classroom. We may hope the courts will treat this argument with the derision it deserves. Perhaps the University of Illinois really wants to go on record as being the only university in the United States to admit that it evaluates teaching competence, competence based on 140 character tweets. Yeah. <laughs> but if they do, they will only further damage their already sullied reputation. Professor Salida went through all the normal procedures for a faculty hire, including evaluation of his actual teaching record, his scholarship, and his service, and received a tenured appointment to the University of Illinois. The university treated him as a tenured faculty member in every way, from helping him find housing, to scheduling his fall classes, to inviting him to orientation for new faculty. Until, that is, he exercised his First Amendment rights this summer. What happened to Professor Salida is both illegal and a moral outrage, and it is a threat to the integrity of public discourse and to the freedom of inquiry and debate that is essential to university life. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Professor Salida. Thank you. Yeah.